Good evening, everyone. Uh, today is Saturday, November the 30th, and this actually, I'm getting ready to play the podcast that I did on a Thursday, but due to uh, technical difficulties, no one was able to hear it or download it or anything, so I'm going to premiere that now. This was from the last Thursday on Thanksgiving Day, and it is episode 31. You can listen to all of our podcasts at nitrofire.com slash podcast. And you can listen to this particular podcast, episode 31, at nitrofire.com slash episode 31. And it is there that I link all the resources that I have mentioned. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Today is November the 28th, 2019, at approximately 8... Sorry about that. Approximately 8 o'clock p.m. And you are listening to the DigiPire podcast. To all my fellow citizens in the U.S. of A, happy Thanksgiving. To everyone else, wherever you may be in the world, a happy Thursday. I'm doing this from my my phone and I almost tripped because I pace while I talk. It's not good. So anyway, today is episode 31, and we are going to talk about all of the places that you can buy gifts for for the holiday season online without having to use your credit cards or, or any of that kind of thing, and where you can actually make payments and not use your, without a credit check and, and all that kind of stuff, because every time... The credit check is done, it deems your credit, and you don't want to have a lot of outstanding bills on your credit score. So I'm going to share with you today some places where you can, I was recording them, or anyway, having a little technical difficulties here. So tonight we're going to discuss where you can shop online. And not have to use, not have to worry about your credit cards or affecting your credit score or or having having credit, good credit, no credit, all that kind of thing. And where you can make payments online to get your holiday shopping done, or if you just want to buy something for yourself, or just whatever. There are all kinds of places you can shop from websites that sell cologne and perfume. To places like you know high-end sporting goods like Finish Line and just all kinds of places. Bose Speed, Bose has done or Bose, Bose, Bose.com. It's all kinds of places and well, shook over myself. So we're going to talk about that tonight and how you can, if you have an e-commerce site, how you can offer those options on your own website to increase sales and make it more attractive for people to shop because there's an opportunity cost for money especially if you're an entrepreneur or working in the gig economy or working for yourself or or, and if you can pay now and or buy now pay later it, it can really help your cash flow at the same time that it can get you into a lot of trouble so you have to be especially careful so if you just give me a few moments I will be right with you this is episode 31 happy Thanksgiving I'll be right back probably need to sit down while I do this because I'm I'm tripping over myself but I like to pace and talk I like to pace and think it's my version of meditation and I love sharing with you guys everything that I know or almost everything and so yeah I like to share so anyway we're going to if you've listened to the podcast before you already know the format that we try to keep here and it's going to try it's probably going to be the same tonight I'm going to go over all news, that is news in e-commerce and technology. 
I'm going to attempt to to have my or I'm going to attempt to do the question and answers session of this program from a past podcast. I always seem to run out of time. Forty five minutes is just not enough to relay everything I want to tell you guys. Then I'll go on to the builder buy segment. It's where I analyze a web property, whether it be an e-commerce site, a publishing website, or just or an app or whatever, and analyze it to, to to determine whether it's worth just buying it right out or building it from scratch because it's that whole opportunity cost thing again that I constantly talk about. And so I going to, I analyze at least one or two on that segment. So keep in mind, you can find all of our podcasts at digitpire.com slash podcast. You can find the resources that I mentioned on this particular podcast, episode 31, at digitpire.com digitpire.com slash episode 31. I'll put in all the links to the websites that I mentioned. And whether you are an e-tailer or a consumer, they will help both. The weather is nasty. The wind's blowing really hard. So hopefully I can uh, finish this out because the power is bad about going out. And even though I'm doing this from my phone, the internet might go up if the power goes out. I don't have a backup or a generator and that kind of thing as of now. So I'm very vulnerable to the weather, as we all are, I suppose. So also, if you have any questions of myself, you can do you can ask away at digitpire.com slash ask. And I try to get back with everyone when I can. I'll be right with you. Okay, one more thing I have not forgotten. We're also going to discuss a hustle a side hustle that you can use using this new found information with minimal with minimal out of pocket expense and it's something that is in high demand and you can get started pretty cheap cheaply or inexpensively and I'm going to go over that. It's pretty much um I'm gonna show you what to buy and where to sell it using this newfound knowledge that I am going to relate to you. So as you can tell we have a lot of information. We have a lot of ground to cover tonight in a short amount of time. So I will be right with you. Just give me a few short moments. Be right back. Talking about jewelry, the next episode of the podcast, episode 32 of the Digital Pirate Podcast, I'm going to continue the business idea series. And as we're going to be discussing selling that jewelry online. It's all about volume and how to leverage top patter to build your jewelry business. So that's on episode 32, and that'll be next time. So today we're going to be talking about episode 31, put your credit debit card away, the rise of buy now, pay later options for online purchases, no credit required. So we're going to be discussing this from two different perspectives, from a consumer perspective and from an e-tailer perspective, because this works, uh, you know, this works for e-tailers. I'm not sure, haven't seen, haven't seen anything that would indicate that you can use that if you had a brick and mortar store. So we're going to be focusing on e-tailers and consumers, which you know, e-tailing and e-commerce is the whole premise of the podcast. So we're going to be discussing at several places where you can, as a consumer, buy without having to use your credit. And we all know the importance of that. We don't want a bunch of stuff or a bunch of debt, for a better word, a bunch of debt showing up on our credit profile. And these websites will allow you to to bypass that and allow you to make you know anywhere from four to six payments. And you know this is something that, that you know, you're not going to be able to drag it out for months and months and years and years and years. 
But the way I see it, if you can't afford to pay it off in six months, then you probably should not be buying it. Really, if you can't afford to pay cash for it, you shouldn't be buying it. But, you know, sometimes it's good to leverage leverage other people's money. If you know you have money coming in, or you, you know, there's all kinds of different reasons where it would work and where it can be good. And also, as an e-tailer, these companies are good to to increase your your traffic because if you do any kind of SEO, then you, you'll see that a lot of these these directories, the directories of people that they work with, like you know, for like example, Bose head Bose. If you type in if you type in something, and you're listed on their directory. It'll it'll show up. So anyway, there's a lot of SEO advantages to being listed on these sites. Not in addition, you know, not to mention the ability for you to increase your cash flow by letting people, you know, by offering financing. You you increase sales and cash flow by offering financing because you know a lot of people a lot, a lot of people do that. It keeps you know they will purchase something at a higher value if they're allowed to break it up into payments instead of having to come up with it all at once. So from a consumer standpoint, this can get you in a lot of trouble if you're not careful, but we're going to discuss a few of them. Now the first one I am going to talk about is Klarna.com. And they have a lot of a lot of different places you can shop that a lot of places online use Klarna and they will allow you to break it up into I think let me let me actually make sure. Klarna.com they let you break it up and they let you break it up into oh hold on. In four installments. Or you have you can break up in four installments. So and I think it's every week. So you have 30 days to pay. So you got to get paid off in 30 days. Let me see. Let me make sure. Ah, oh, pay no. So you have you, you can pay in 30 days or pay in four interest-free installments that are charged from your card every two weeks. So four payments every two weeks, or you can pay in 30 days. And as far as I know, this will not show up on your credit profile, and I don't think that they do a hard pull on your credit. It's a soft pull. And they are they're a really good place to, to do some shopping, especially if you can afford to pay it off, you know, very quickly. And that's just not something you're going to run up a bunch of debt on and <clears throat> and then can't pay it back. So you want to use this very very conservatively, you know, and pay it off as quickly as possible. And I'm sure that they give you a, a limit at some point. I haven't actually done it or try to do it, but I'm sure that they impose some kind of limit to you in, in the beginning and it increases as you shop or whatever. So yeah, that's it's Klarna.com, and I will list that, like I said, on the resources page on digitalpire.com, episode 31. And I'm not sure of the requirements for e-tailers or what it all entails. I mean, you have several options if you have an online shop that you can that you can implement the different kinds of services with to increase your sales. That's something that's beyond the scope of uh, this episode. But yeah, as a consumer, it's a good place to to increase or extend your purchasing power. And from a e-tailer standpoint.
it's a good way to increase sales and your cash flow. So I will be right back and I will continue with the next one. I'll be right back. Just so, just as a, as a, as a footnote to my little Klarna discussion, there's several clothing, clothing shops that you can use Klarna, Klarna with, and one of them is Rue 21. I know Rue 21 is a popular store in my part of the country, so that's one that you can break it up into payments if you shop online. Pretty sure you can't use it in the store, but I might be wrong on that. So. And yeah, we're going to continue with the next one, and it is Afterpay.com. Afterpay.com will allow you to break everything up into four different payments. Again, letting it spread out every, they charge you every two weeks, and you can pay it off, you know, as quickly as you want to, you know, in between that. To say, for example, that you found something at finishline.com. Yes, finishline takes it. So if you like shoes or goat.com, which also sells shoes and stuff like that. And you, you know, you found something today and you made your initial payment, which all of these you have to make an initial payment. You have to make, you know, a initial payment at first and then they bill you for the rest of it. So that's another, another way that it makes it different from a credit card. But I think it helps keep your keep your spending and your debt under control. At least your debt under control. I'm not sure if it'll help your spending, but at least keep your debt in check. And what's my train of thought? Ah. So yeah, Finish Line. They all have FinishLineGoat.com. There's several there's several places on there where you can where you can. There's oh uh, what's in. New York and Company, Fashion to Figure, Urban Outfitters, Forever 21 is a good one. I know a lot of people use Levi's.com, PacSun, True, True Religion. There's several perfume stores. And on Afterpay, I think, and you can search, if you go to Afterpay.com, you can search for your favorite store that you like to shop. And I also think that you can search for like a particular brand. Let's see. Well, hold on. Let me see. Hold on. I'm trying to. I think you can, on their website, you can fix, you can actually search for a particular item. And it'll pop up the stores that. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, so you can you can type in on afterpay.com like if you're interested in Air Jordans, you can type in Air, Air Jordan, and it'll it'll display a list of all of the stores that sell Air Jordans. And so Afterpay is <clears throat> similar to Klarna in that you make payments and they have a nice little interface. You can you can pay your payments in advance to get out of your way, so you don't have to worry about it. And they make it very, very easy to to deal with. And again, you have to make your initial payment. DSW is on there. There and there's several uh, fragrance type stores, beauty shops, makeup, Clinique, Estee Lauder, several places where you can make you can shop now and pay later. <clears throat> and Afterpay mainly deals, and from what I can tell, mainly clothes, shoes, and beauty products. They don't have anything, anyone who offers electronics or anything like that. A lot of anthropology, I know that's a big one. Ulta Beauty. I know Ray-Ban if you want sunglasses. So there are several big box stores that you can shop with, shop on using Afterpay and, you know, using your buy now, pay later profile on there. And so, like I said, using them is an excellent way 
to increase your purchasing power without affecting your credit score and adding a lot of outstanding debt to your credit score, which hurts it. So using Afterpay.com and Klarma.com is an excellent way to increase your purchasing power. And I will list those on the episode page at digitalpire.com slash episode 31 so you can find them easily. I'm going to con- continue on with a few others. These are a little different and use a new, you won't be able to use this as you won't be able to use the next three as an e-tailer like you can the previous two as an e-tailer you can you can you can use Klarna or afterpay.com to increase sales on your e-commerce site the next three are for consumers only and i'm going to go over that in just a moment i'll be right with you Okay, so the next three that I'm going to talk about are TV shopping networks. And you don't have to watch the television or go, you know, watch for their products and buy it directly off the television. You can go to their website. And you can find, you know, about anything that you want on these on these TV based websites that I'm going to discuss. And they will allow you to to break it down anywhere from four to six monthly payments. Again, without showing up as debt on your credit report. They do do a credit check. Two of them are a soft pull. One is a hard pull. And this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm getting ready to mention. And it's shophq.com. And they will, you have to make the first payment. So if you bought something that's $400, you're going to have to make like an $80 payment or whatever. And with Shop HQ, they make you pay the tax and the shipping in addition to the first payment. So, you know, whatever that's going to be. And then they can let, they'll let you break it down in, into several monthly payments after that, depending on what kind of specials they run. And you can find about anything that you want on ShopHQ.com. And, of course, as an e-tailer, you won't be able to use them. But... As a consumer, it's a good way to, again, increase your purchasing power without affecting your credit. The next one is Home Shopping Network. That's hsn.com. And they are the same kind of deal. You need to make your first payment, and you can break it up into five or six monthly payments. And I believe that they do do a, a credit pull and I don't think it's a hard pull but I think it's a soft pull and you do have to to make your you do have to to make your your first payment and then the rest of the payments you can make later they bill you monthly and they have a little bit of everything on their website you can find them you just find anything that, that you want now if you're for some reason you're not approved if, I'm not sure what their their minimum credit requirements are, but for some reason, if you're not approved, then they will cancel the order, which you know they they will they put a hold on your first payment. So if you don't have if you can't afford to have your money tied up for very long, then you know what you might want to 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 be careful because they'll they'll tie your money up before and then they'll cancel your order, but your money will be tied up for several days doing my research on this that's a lot of people are denied and their money is tied up thinking that they think they think that they're not getting their money back but in actuality it's just a hold on their account they didn't take any money actually i guess they did but it's a hold that, that falls off after several days so you might want to keep that in mind with these home sh- these tv shopping network type things the third one is hsn.com, or no, I'm sorry, the third one is qbc.com. It's the same kind of thing as the other two, not much different. All of them will cancel your orders if you are not approved, and you know, there will be money being held in your, your account for an extended time, several days, depending on your bank. And you can look on the forums for all of, you know, all of that. People 
discussed in each one of those TV forums has their own little community, which is actually kind of interesting. They talk about issues they've had with them, and they talk about the TV host and, and all that kind of thing. So it's really kind of fascinating that the communities that they have built around these platforms or these networks that sell stuff. It's really, really neat. Again, I'm not sure what their require their credit requirements are, but I think they're they're more lax than if you got a credit card or whatever. And I know that you will not be able to use a prepaid debit card or anything like that. I'm not sure exactly why. I'm mean, I'm pretty sure why why it does, but anyway, I'm not sure what their what their credit criteria is. I didn't do a lot of research on that so you can try it and if they don't cancel your order within you know a day or two then you know, if you get a, this item is shipped message then you should be good to go if not your money is going to be held for several days so if you can't afford to do that then you might want to <coughs> to do something else like uh, the what I'm going to talk about next and these are a couple websites that if you don't have perfect credit and you you know you you don't care to to pay a little you don't care what anyway I'm getting distracted but let me talk about that in just a few seconds I'm going to talk about a couple of places that if you have less than perfect credit I mean I'm and you want to to you need something or or whatever I'm going to give you a couple of alternatives that you can use. I'll be right with you. Okay, so the next three I'm going to mention and discuss are if you have a less than perfect credit, no credit, or that kind of thing. One of them I actually used in my own brick and mortar store. My failed attempt at having an analog business it was not the, but one of the biggest mistakes of my life. And oh my gosh, I will never do it again. Speaking of which, I was at the mall yesterday and there were like three more stores that have gone out of business. I mean, it just this is not a good time to open up a brick and mortar store or a restaurant or anything. I mean, the writing's been on the wall for 20 years, but now it's really getting down, getting down to the nitty gritty. So it's not a good time to to start anything like that. But anyway, the next three the next three websites are basically lease to own websites, and they don't do a credit check or a hard pull or a credit to speak of. And some of them are easier to get than others. You will need an active checking account, a checking account that you've had for at least several months. I think I'm not sure exactly their their criteria, but the the third one. But you can, as a as an e-tailer, you can hook up with at least one of these websites because, like I said, I have. And if you have a brick and mortar store, which I hope that you don't, then you can link up with the one that I'm going to mention. But the first two, I'm not sure. I think you can. I know the first one you can. I'm not sure how they partner with people or what, what it entails. That's something that you can look into. I'm just going to, to briefly mention them because we're running out of time and I want to get all this to you. So the first one is flex shopper, flex shopper.com. And they work with several different vendors and say, for example, you wanted to buy a computer and you type whatever computer that you want, into into their into their little into their website and you'll have different options so basically they're going to buy it from a store for you and then and then charge you so a lot of a lot of their stuff comes from best buy uh amazon and they will buy it mark it up a little bit i'm not sure exactly how much and then spread their payments out over uh, over a year and you know you can get it paid off i think within 60 days you can pay it off without penalty or without you can pay it off in 60 days same as cash i believe you might want to go to their website flexshopper.com and, and see 
but I believe you can. So they, they're very clear on the, the number of payments that you're going to have to make to, to own the product right out and everything that you're going to have to pay. And that's not the cheapest way to do it, but if it's something that you need, it's a way to save your cash flow and, and spread out your payments. So again, that's flexshopper.com. The other one is leaseville.com. And they work pretty much the same way. I'm not going to be able to go into a lot of detail with those, with any of them, with the rest of them. And the third one is Progressive Finance. And that's the one that I used in my brick and mortar store. And from like a retailer standpoint, they were standpoint, they're pretty easy to work with. I've never used them, you know, from as a consumer, but I know that I think Big Lots uses them. You can buy furniture, places like that. I'm not sure. They mainly deal in brick and mortar. I'm not even sure if you can do it online. I'm not sure. I'll have to check on that. It's been a while since I've since I've looked into them or they've been on my radar or whatnot. So that's something that you can look into at yourself. So I promised you guys the the business idea that you can use with some of the stuff. And that is buying high-end perfume on one of these websites that will allow you to buy now and pay later using using and then splitting it up into several different little perfume bottles. You can buy these little perfume bottles and and and, dop and little things to, to get the perfume out of the big bottle to put it in a little bottle i'm not sure how to articulate exactly what i'm trying to say but there you can look it up on youtube how to do it and yeah so you can buy an expensive bottle of perfume and break it up and, and make money that way so that might be a nice little side hustle that you can do so that's all for me today. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you're starting your long weekend tomorrow, hope that you have a good one. Hope that you stay warm and stay happy or get happy or be happy or whatever. I'll see you guys next time for episode 32. Bye-bye.